Hello, I'm Bo Grzeski. Today we will be exploring Twitter. It's an app and a website that can be used for research, expanding your professional learning network, and getting lots of great ideas for your classroom. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, give us feedback or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right hand corner. Here's how to get started with Twitter. Now Twitter is an app and a website, but for the sake of this tutorial, we are mainly going to be using the website. You're going to go to twitter.com and sign up. Come up with a name, how many characters are going to be limited, or use your email. After you put in credentials such as a phone number or email, get to pick what things interest you. This is going to help customize the type of things that will appear on your newsfeed. Check the things that you like. Maybe you have some own personal interests that you would like to put onto there, or just search. And these are just some great popular hashtags that you can follow. I'll just scroll through. These are some things that you might want to put in. Just paste that there, hit enter. And then it also gives you things to follow. Now following means anything that these Twitter users post, it will automatically appear in your newsfeed. I'm big into education, so I want to follow a lot of these updates on tools. So following them. Okay, and then we have our main feed screen. So let's talk about our main feed screen over here next. So here we have our main home screen in Twitter. On the right side, there's going to be some suggestions for people that you can follow. Once you follow them, any tweets that they make, they'll appear in your main news timeline. Scrolling through, you can see the things that I follow. Sometimes there might be an ad that was promoted that we can get to. If you like something, you can give it a heart. You could send a direct message to that person. If you retweet it, what that means is it takes this message and it's going to share it with all your followers. Sometimes you can add a comment onto it. So now I just made a tweet that mentioned Lindsay's tweet. If I want to see that, I can go to my profile page, which I'll need to set up, but there it is right there. So that's what I typed, and that mentions them. So if any of my followers as it starts to grow, they can click on that and re-access the original tweet. Let's go back to our homepage, main timeline. These are some trends that are going on the world for things that are being interested. And there's my stats. What I'm following, uh, those are all those things we clicked on the initial setup. And uh, who's my one follower? All right. Thank you, James Norton. Now let's play along with the things on the top. We have your moments. These could be save big events going on in the news right now. They're broken down for things that would interest you. Notifications, these are updates. As I start to get people that follow me, they'll start to appear on here. And messages do not appear in my timeline. It's almost a uh, private message between me and someone else, a direct message between them. You can also search for Twitter for trends. So a hashtag is whenever you do that pound, and it kind of groups all of the things together with that. Um, so we could search for a hashtag edtech, and any tweet that has hashtag edtech will show up here. You can also search for those search for a user and you can go to a user's page you could follow additional people when you tweet directly to somebody it puts their title first you can add an additional picture maybe a gif to go with them sometimes you could generate a poll or map out what you're going to be well, now you've kind of explored some things and you followed some people you saw some stuff let's set up your profile next wow. See here that we just have a gray head. No one's going to want to follow that gray head, so you can just hit your plus button. You can add a header photo. This will be a big picture that you would see on up top whenever people view your profile. Decent one for here. Okay, there's your header image. What some people do is they put info or awards or accolades that they have in there or a picture that kind of sums up. Then you also have your profile photo. Probably the easiest thing is just to keep these saved on your desktop. And then you have the other field. This is going to be your actual name that would appear on the screen. So you can always change that. Your bio, you are limited with the number of things that you can have. 
feel free to include hashtags in your description or people put accolades that they might do so you can do it. So this way when people search for these terms, you could be associated with them too. Where are you located? This can also start to group you with people. If you have a website that you want to go to, your theme will change all around. If you know a hex code, you can change that there. So here we have, we are all published. You can see that my profile picture is now, we have our cover image, my colors have all changed. So whenever I click on a hashtag in my bio, then that will go to all those other hashtags and tweets associated with it. I can click on my link and it takes me to a website that I wanna try and direct traffic to. And this is where all my other tweets will come. You can also reply to a tweet and get a nice conversation going on and add additional stuff to it if you wanted to. But a great way to have conversations great way to expand your professional learning network. It's a great way to share and learn with people, um, connect with others of similar content that are around all around the globe. Look up ed tech tools, look up ideas how you can look up lesson plans. Um, so many great things that you can get from here. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description.